What is going on everybody and welcome to another video and as the title suggests in this one we're going to be comparing the sound from my 370Z's fast intention test pipes to the new long tube headers that I recently installed on the car. We'll be doing sound comparisons, also talk a little bit about the subtle differences you might notice when installing long tube headers, uh, but first let's get this car to the car wash and get it cleaned up because it is quite dirty. Alright guys, and Zoe is now all cleaned up and looking perfect. Let's go ahead and talk about my exhaust setup that we're looking at today. I've currently got the Fast Intentions TDX Catback Exhaust. That's the two and a half inch diameter true dual exhaust system. I've got their 18 inch resonators to try and refine the sound a little bit, as well as their 10 inch stainless steel muffers looking really nice in the back. And what we're going to be comparing is the current sound that I have from my Fast Intentions long tube headers, which I recently installed a couple of weeks ago. We're comparing it against the OEM headers installed with the resonated test pipes from Fast Intentions. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Um, by the way, I will be updating you guys also on my supercharger build and what's going on exactly with that, with coronavirus and everything. Um, so stay tuned towards the end of the video to listen to that. Also make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to stay tuned with my supercharger build if you're new to the channel. Uh, but anyways, let's get to the exhaust clips. <laughs> Um, I also liked the deeper tone that the test pipes had, 
and for me personally, the sound level was about perfect at where it was at. The long tube headers, I think, pushed it a little bit over, so it's a little bit louder than I would like, ideally. Now, volume wasn't really what I was looking to change when I got the long tube headers. If you're just trying to get the loudest exhaust possible, long tubes are definitely the way to go. It may not sound as refined, though, as you can get with some of the resonated test pipes or other exhaust options out there. Uh, but long tube headers promise some of the most peak power gains that you can get um, out of an exhaust system. Admin Tuning, as well as a couple of other tuners online, have shown that you can get roughly 10 to 15 horsepower uh, of gains out of a set of long tube headers when on a stock VQ motor. And with the supercharger build that I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get every little horsepower out of it possible so I can hit my 500 horsepower mark. Another advantage of these long tube headers is that they are lighter. Um, I showed in my long tube header install video that I was saving something like 10 to 20 pounds by switching to long tubes over using the stock headers uh, with the test pipes that I had on the car. And if you have catalytic converters, you'll be saving even more weight because catalytic converters can get pretty heavy. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this exhaust. Um, do I feel or notice a horsepower difference? I'd like to think it feels like on the top end, it's a little bit more willing to get going almost. Like on the highway, it feels like I can pass a bit easier. Um, but because it's only supposed to be maybe 10 to 15 horsepower of difference at most, um, that's really not gonna be noticeable. Um, unless you increase the horsepower in your car by about 10%, it's really gonna be difficult to notice unless you have a trained ear for it. Um, so do I really notice much of a difference? I can't honestly say yes, um, but I wanna say that it does feel like it wants to get going uh, a little bit quicker at some of those higher RPM ranges. But you should see the difference on the dyno, and if you're chasing the horsepower figures, long tube headers are definitely the way to go. If you're also trying to find the loudest exhaust possible, long tube headers are also the solution. Just understand that these are fairly expensive, and you may be better off just going for test pipes. On that subject, my Fast Intentions test pipes uh, that are resonated are for sale. Um, I don't need these anymore, they're just going to be sitting around in my garage. So if anybody is interested in getting a set of test pipes for their vehicle, um, I highly recommend these. These are from Fast Intentions, really high quality, love the sound. The resonation also means that you don't get a whole ton of rasp in them, uh, which is what I was looking for in my exhaust initially. And if you're looking to delete your catalytic converters, uh, these set of test pipes are an easy and cheap way to do it. All right guys, now let's talk about the supercharger build a little bit and give you guys an update on what's going on with that. Last I had spoken to you, I said I should be getting parts in late March to early April. I'm going with the Top Gun Speedworks brand new ACE kit that he's developing. This is the version two of his supercharger kit. The original one he developed used the Stillen manifold. He's replacing that and keeping the stock manifold and that should allow for faster installation times uh, hopefully a little less heat soak. The power numbers are showing that we should be getting greater power figures out of this kit as well. So I'm super excited for it. I've been in close contact with him trying to get an idea of when the estimated ship date is going to be on this. Um, unfortunately, there has been a ton of delays. You know, with COVID-19 and everything going on, it's difficult to source parts for his kits. So unfortunately, it's been delayed even further than I had originally anticipated. Right now, there is no set date on when it's going to ship. He was saying the end of April would be a bit ambitious. Um, it's looking like I probably won't be getting this up until May or even June. Uh, it's really uncertain at this point. It all just depends on when he can source parts from his vendors. Now, something I've recently learned is there are some customization features about this kit. Uh, for instance, you're actually able to select a color for your intake piping as well as for the supercharger housing. Aaron provides a few different color options you can choose from and then they will anodize or paint the intake piping to customize it to look the way you want it to look, which I think is pretty cool. There's not a lot of supercharger manufacturers out there that really provide those options and typically you can only choose from black or stainless steel. But I have chosen a color for my intake piping um, that I've been speaking with Aaron on, so that's going to be pretty exciting to see. You can also select from a couple of different options for what filter you want to get. You can either go for a traditional filter for more daily driving, or you can get a turbo guard, which is basically like a metal mesh that sits over the supercharger inlet, which allows it to breathe a little bit better if you're really wanting to try and maximize the power out of this kit. Um, he also provides you the option with either just buying the kit by itself, or you can also buy a base tune or have a one-on-one -on -one session with a remote tuner uh, to get the car set up and ready to drive. I'm gonna get a base tune uh, just so that I can actually get the car to my tuner and then have them tune it up there and run it on the dyno. Um, so it's really exciting to see that he's providing a couple of different features to select from, which will allow you to customize the supercharger and only buy what it is that you're really needing out of the kit. 
on the subject of COVID-19, I hope you guys are staying healthy. I hope your families are all doing well right now. Um, I know this is a pretty difficult time with everything. It's affected my ability also to be able to push out videos. Um, I've been having to work from home, which thankfully I have the option to do. I'm trying to social distance as much as possible. Um, but thank you guys again for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe link down below to follow my supercharger build. I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay safe.